a supply of electricity, it will spin extremely fast. Um, but you may not be aware that if you can actually spin a motor fast enough, it will actually produce electricity. In effect, you've turned it into a dynamo or a generator. Uh, the problem is that uh, with these small motors, the amount of electricity produced is very small. So you have to turn it extremely quickly to get any um, meaningful amounts of electricity. Um, uh, if you want to make a, a, a light bulb light up, you have to turn it extremely quickly. It is possible to demonstrate this. I do this regularly in primary schools. And I put a small pulley on the motor and then put a loop of string around the motor I get somebody to hold the motor and then I pull the string, the ends of the string, and I have the motor connected to a bulb. And if you pull very quickly, uh, you can actually make the, the bulb light up. Um, but a more convenient way of demonstrating this is to use gears. Um, if you connect a, small, a large gear to a small gear, when you turn the large gear the small gear will turn much faster. Um, big to small speeds things up. <coughs> Excuse me. So here's my recipe for making a dynamo using gears. First thing we're going to do is to um, make the uh, first gear and we're going to turn it with a handle. Um, I've got a, a block of wood here that I'm going to uh, mount all the gears onto and I'm going to use um, some, uh, the straight part of a bendy straw to make the uh, bearings. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, cut some bearings um, just a little bit longer, a little bit longer than the width of the block of wood. And I'm going to um, tap uh, an axle. This is a 5mm dowel. Now, um, this wheel, these holes, the holes in the gears, I've drilled out to 4.8mm. This is 5mm dowel, so it would be a nice firm uh, hammer tap fit uh, in. Uh, so, first of all, I'm going to um, fit the one of these pieces of dowel to the centre hole of this MDF wheel. I'm going to um, slot on the uh, piece of uh, straw. That's a little bit too long. We'll just cut a little bit more off. Just check that there's still enough sticking out at each end. That's it. We'll slip that on. And then I'm going to tap um, a large gear onto the other end. like this and make sure there's a small gap here so that the the gear and the wheel will spin easily on the uh, straw and then I'm going to uh, push in oh, that feels a bit loose I might have to need to put some glue on there that's the um, uh, handle that I'm going to turn actually it's the wrong piece I need a shorter piece there there we are, and that's going to be the handle that I turn. Next I'm going to glue that onto the block of wood. Uh, and I'm going to use a hot glue gun here. Just going to put some glue across the block of wood. And glue it down, making sure I don't get any glue near the moving parts. There we are. And to secure that, I'm going to put a loop of glue over the straw. Because there's quite a lot of force going to be acting upon that. So I want to make sure it's really securely glued. What I could do uh, to make it even more secure is I could put um, some square section wood uh, here and here. But we'll give that a chance to dry. So that's going to be the, the handle of the um, dynamo generator. Now going to um, assemble the uh, next axle, which is going to have a, a small gear, which is going to which is going to turn even faster. So we tap 